welcome to the Cinebeards. Hi. For some reason, we've all got swords except Dion. I'll tell you why. It's because the three of us have seen Future Cops, and it is a transcendent experience. I haven't seen it. Future Cops is the um, Hong Kong, uh, I guess, bootleg street yeah, fighter bootleg. movie. E uh, Honda's name is Toyota. Initially, they had the rights to Street Fighter, started making a Street Fighter movie, lost the rights halfway through, and had to improvise. Guile oh, wow. is Chinese, and his name is Broom Man. Yes. Because of his hair. Also, he looks like Frankenstein's bride. The sound's amazing. It is pretty amazing. Oh, and Ken is evil, but he's called Kent. And M. Because <laughs> M- it's legally distinct. M. Bison is telekinetic and doesn't speak. I'm sorry, telepathic. He doesn't yeah, speak. He ever. doesn't speak. He, he doesn't just, move his lips. He just telepaths. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're the Cinebeards. Hey! Cinebeards. So we we don't want to give away what? anymore because you won't believe us. Like, you'd think we're coring you, but we're actually just telling the God honest truth about the movie. But that's what coring is when mm. we tell yes. people the God honest truth about a stupid movie and that they sounds think it like. Oh, right. Anyway, we're the Cinebeards. Welcome to. This episode of the Cinebeards, I guess. I'm yeah. just Jason. With you... me as always, Thomas Marshall Sharp. That is my name. Marcus Knaif. I you... think this is episode you... 68. Yes. Do you have a surname? Oh, oh, nice. Do you have a surname? I mean a middle name, Marcus? I don't even know. Marcus Knaif? Is there I, anything in between? I, I do, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's Jesus. Okay, so we have Thomas Marshall Sharp, Marcus Jesus Knaif. It's pronounced Jesus. And Dion, the other one, Van Heerden. Uh, Rebecca, thank you very much. <laughs> Rebecca! Rebecca! Okay, so let's discuss some uh, movie trailers and things. Yeah. First off, Frozen 2. That was a pretty hardcore trailer. Yeah, yeah I was, like, I was not expecting not just, that. Not just that it gets super dark, like, how god tier is that animation? Like, Ooh, the yeah. oh, shit. When that... you were like, god tier animation, I was like, let's have a look. <laughs> Dion was not exaggerating. Like, that, just that opening shot of the ocean, I thought it was like live a action. live action yeah. film. And yeah. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, like, I couldn't care less about Frozen, because oh, yeah. man, did I not enjoy Frozen, but I'm gonna watch the shit out of this one. Yeah. yeah. They did go to that new movie trope of um, old sad song. They did. <laughs> of course they did. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the new you said, you said they had to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. They followed the, our way, I, I just... My only concern is follow-through. Like, mm. it's pretty easy. I mean, we've seen all those recut trailers. Recut this as this recut. So, mm. it's, very, it's very easy for this film to just be, like, tonally and everything the same as the first one. And just Which I have, would be very sad about. That would be very sad. But, yeah, this is pretty much a masterclass trailer like the mic m- oh yes syncing up the music and the the footage and the like the whole bespoke edit is just mm. yeah yep 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 also you can sort of see you can see this is in-house huh also that water though Jeez. we gotta bring it back that you it's it gave me the same reaction as when i saw the opening of um the good dinosaur the first time mm-hmm. yeah Where, and, and you that, saw those renders for the first and time. when you saw those renders for you were like there's no way that they animated this like it looks photorealistic like they nailed foliage there and now they've nailed water with frozen 2 and the water was really good in dinosaur as well it was yeah well they're technically they're competing animation studios it was okay it was okay from what i've heard you yeah it's i think it was the same year as um inside out inside out yeah she's like yeah sorry (laughs) sorry 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 sorry, sorry, it's just like no (laughs) so yeah (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Frozen Two. I'm very curious to see. I will be very disappointed if a more traditional second trailer yeah. comes out. They pr- they probably will. Yeah, almost certainly. So this I know. Does I'm... not seem like it's going to appeal to kids. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, but then again, it, well, kids don't watch trailers. Do but then again, also Disney. Yeah. I don't know. Disney has been even... on this trend. Like the Disney conglomerate has been on this trend of like darker trailers. It uh, seems for a Cars while now. Cars Three as well. Yeah. Cars 3 must have yeah, that, yeah. like, super oh, intense... Oh, yeah, yeah. With, the, with the, like, crash. crash and, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. and people synced it up with Johnny Cash's Hurt, and it was heart-wrenching. <laughs> I mean, then you've got the end ga- the first end game trailer, mm. which is super depressing. And then you had the Super Bowl spot, which was super, super depressing. depressing. Yeah. 
It's like yeah. they, they're just out to destroy you before well, you Disney even go are very to the movie. Soon to control all media. So I guess they're choosing our emotions for us, which I, for one, am happy about because it's been yeah. difficult until now to try and decide on my own. <laughs> yeah. it's been. I mean, I've had to regulate them heavily with medication and yeah. therapy. Uh, now, I'm you glad just had to regulate them with Disney trailers. I'm yeah. glad there's someone to tell me how to feel and yeah. what to think. Yeah, and it's not David Cage. Yes. No. Or Darren Aronofsky. He confuses me sometimes. Yeah, but I guess Darren Aronofsky is just, like, what menopause is? Yeah, Relig anti-religious menopause. <laughs> <laughs> um, an airplane. We should uh, cut it down with our swords. Plane. That's not a thing that exists. Okay. What other trailers were there? Shaft. Shaft! Shaft. Oh, Who's so the good. private dick that gets all the chicks? Shaft! Shaft. Perfect trailer. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Love the three generations thing. It's great. I'm all aboard. Yeah. Maybe maybe this shaft will slap less women than the previous two. I, I the, would the funny thing is Samuel L. Jackson and the original shaft are far more similar in age than you would than you would yeah, think. Right? It's supposed to be like the guy in his twenties, the guy in his late forties or fifties, and 60s. then the guy in his seventies, and it's like, nah, they're both up there. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. He looks good for his age. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da it's amazing what tons of money can do for you. <laughs> yeah, when the money is good, man, you mm. age slow. Most of the time. Mm. Wait, plot twist, Shaft's the one getting slapped in this, or the third generation Shaft is the one getting slapped by yeah. tons well, of money. I mean, you gotta change at the times. Yeah. yeah. Gotta update. But I like it, I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah. And for me, it feels like a great sort of callback and homage to, like, classic black exploitation. Yeah. Love, death, plus robots. Yeah, boy! Give me that Netflix! <laughs> Netflix. Netflix. I, the second you put hard style in your trailer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna maybe watch your trailer more than ten times in a day. Yeah. <laughs> and like, it, what's the best part about it was um, going onto Twitter immediately after and looking, and people were frame by framing it. Oh yeah. Man, some of the stuff in there is bonkers. There's a scene with like that looks like crayon drawings of hitler and mecha hitler like st strolling through a field with <gasps> like they fresh meadows <laughs> like there's going to be some I mad, cannot wait mad for shit March 15th. in this movie and i am so excited and Me like more bonkers cyberpunk stuff which is so yeah. cool because and cyberpunk 18 of them yeah 18 stories because cyberpunk is you know it's great and we've got a lot of really cool stuff lately it looks like a couple of them are anime though yeah which is a mistake, but yeah. hopefully, the the seesaw oh, balance remember, will just tip the yeah, the mistake. Off I mean, remember and the, into the, sun. the Animatrix. I mean, that was also anime. Indeed, anime, anime was bad, a mistake, but that movie wasn't. It's that true. movie wasn't like some of the like the seg the samurai segment is Ooh, still one yeah. of my favorites. It's that is that was top class. Yeah, top draw. But yeah, it looks like a lot of fun, and it looks to be a lot of violence. Mm. Yeah, and I'm, all, I'm always for loud music and violence. Yeah. The thing about anime is and anime like was a mistake, right? Right. But I mean, even a child born, like conceived accidentally, mm -hmm. where, say, an attempted abortion failed, mm -hmm. can still go on to cure cancer. True. Yeah. I mean, you it was. You can be a mistake, but you can still do great things. Thanks, Mewtwo. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wholesome uh, content from the Cinebeards. <laughs> Remember when that Pokemon movie was super dark? It was great. But yeah, I, I'm excited for this film. Okay, then another film we got to talk about, uh, Big Shark. No. Yes. No. Grayscale shark. Fuck the textures. Just put a shark in there. Make seven, a shark. Seven is enough frames per second for you to perceive <laughs> make, motion. Make a shark on Maya. Don't bother to texture it. Chuck it in your trailer. It looks really sincere, but on the other hand, I wonder... You wonder what? how self-aware it is. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. If it's too self-aware, it's not going to be good. Yeah, it's like yeah. Samurai Cop 2. Yeah. yeah. Which was super disappointing, because, you know, you're it just was... expecting, you know, Neil Breen's body of work yeah, yeah. yeah which none of them was self-aware which is what makes him so brilliant but samurai cop 2 was self-aware and it just took a lot of the jokes they, they were crap Who, was that one of his no uh yeah. no it was another um company but he did star in it uh, yeah. so basically they're like let's lean into this completely uh, we're like um number two behind the room so let's get the guy from the room in our sequel yeah so, so b-movie people are gonna love it and yeah. we didn't, and we didn't. 
Yeah. So I wonder how, how like the extent to which this is like, hey, this is sort of what people like about you. So let's just do that. Or if it's just really him like doing like a sincere attempt at a movie and this is just how he filmed. I mean, those slaps were pretty promising. Yeah. yeah. Very loud I mean, sonic boom. Yeah, well, I mean, they just slapped, slapped the mic. <laughs> but they, uh, but on the other hand is that there were a lot of classic The Room wizzo isms in the trailer already. Oh, look, you know? water. Yeah. Oh, look, water. You know, the, the, the speech patterns, the, the looks, you know, the things, the weird interactions. It's the almost face. as if... Yeah. The hair. Yeah. But either way, time hit him like a fucking like truck. Like a truck. Yeah. Yo, I don't think man. he's got that, like, gross six-pack anymore. No, all no. his weird square bum. I mean, he, he got, he, he, like, time basically Mickey Rourked him. Whoa. But without, like, somehow without boxing in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, he just got there by himself. <laughs> He's a medical mystery. No. <laughs> He's D.B. Cooper. Yeah. And then the last trailer we have to talk about. Do we have to? Uh, we do. Do what we? Aladdin. No. Well, the where thing, do we the begin? Do we is, begin with think... Dion's no, prescient no one, tweet? No one's been talking about it online. Like at all? It's no, just it's not a. It's not a, it's not a really, massive it's shit not a show. Trending. Really flew under the radar. Sorry, you were saying? Uh, I was talking about your fantastic tweet, which I sent to many meme groups, and they much appreciated it, and shared it all over Facebook. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny thing. Is like I'd literally a day be before been like, what are these deep fake videos everyone's talking about? And I went and looked at it, and then the next day I watched the Aladdin trailer. I was like, yeah. this looks familiar. <laughs> It's just deep fakes with a blue color filter. Yeah. Do you know what I saw? And it really fucking made me really angry. Is somebody, I don't think it was Boss Logic, but somebody just took that scene with well, that frame of his face and they just made the chin wider. And it makes a massive difference. An enormous, enormous difference to be like, you know, from going from immediate revulsion to like, ah. Uh. Yeah. And it, it, it's just like right? yeah. What the where, what the fuck are they paying oh, I saw, people I saw for? that. That was the same. But that it wasn't Boss Logic Boss. The other guy was the same guy that added, uh, that changed the noses on the original Turtles design from the yeah 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 from yeah. the live action one, which also like looked better. So yeah, it's just like the smallest change makes the world of difference. Yeah, and like but surely then, you but have three year olds really... won't recognize Will Smith as the genie. Oh, that, yes. I think that's the thing. Is it's like you got to be able to see that it's me. Oh, right, yeah, this contract yeah. stipulated. It's gotta yeah. be me. Like, even Will just Smith. them making him blue, he was like, wait a second, when I saw me on the cover of Entertainment Weekly... I was not blue. And it's like, no, 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 Mr. Smith, when you turn into a human, you'll still be a black slave. Oh, yeah. Genies are slaves. Did you guys not get that? No, I, I, <laughs> I like, got I, it. I, 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 it didn't sort of... It didn't either. sort of click until... Yeah. Ah! Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. It's a little hmm. bit more uncomfortable now. It's yeah. even more uncomfortable it's than it already of... was. Right? Hmm. Been thinking about it. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh man. Thankfully he's got someone there to release him from his bondage. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about this a lot. Oh dear. C can maybe, I just complain a bit about Jafar's voice? Uh, yeah, yeah, that that, that is like the, that, that is a crime against villainhood. The fucking genie render is one thing, but Jafar having, sounding like a little bitch trying to be skin the door? least threatening sounding dude play your evil grand vizier. Yeah. Yo, um the villain in Have you all seen How to Train Your Dragon 3? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no, they haven't. Okay, well, the villain, I'm not going to say anything more, but like, the voice. Yeah. How perfect is that? The main villain guy, it was just like, Perfect wow. evil man voice. Yeah, yeah, like, born to be... Like, it's it's exactly what an evil man sounds like. Mm. So it's just Charles Dance? Yeah. So yeah, it, yeah, it was it, just... If Charles Dance had a baby with Dracula. Ooh, yeah, pretty much. That's awesome. It was freaking I can't amazing. Wait. Yeah. So like, do that. Yeah. What, what was I mean, it either go me? full cackling maniac or full, like, you know, dark, booming, like, ominous. Don't go try to go Skeletor. That never works. 
Except for Skeletor. Except for Skeletor. Except for Skeletor. Um, what the worst thing is that they're oh, these things are all overshadowing the objectively good aspects of it, like that one shot of the parade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The colors pop like that. It's just like slam. Yeah. The thing is, they brought it all home with that shot of the genie. <laughs> So no matter what, yeah, you th- th- that was the, what they yeah. they left on. Yeah, I, wow. Will Smith and Smurf face. It was, it was basically Diablo Immortal all over again. Have a whole good conference. End it with that. End shit. it with least, that. Yeah, shit. least possible effort. Wow. Try but, I mean, more Disney, than not it's at all. Like Disney geez. has budget constraints. No, that's what's it's, really it's, boggling my mind. Which is what is making me think that what you guys said is becoming more and more likely is that it really was a contract stipulation. Yeah. Like, it's got to be yeah. me. But the weird yeah. thing for me is that Will Smith isn't as much of a box office draw as he used to be, if no. I understand correctly. And he is on lists of, like, in terms of value, he's sort of just below someone like Eddie Murphy in terms of, like, most overpaid actor for the value you're getting. Mm. Like, yeah, because you're, why? you're not getting an actor, you're just getting Will Smith. Yeah, but so why? Like, what 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 makes them cast him in that role? Uh, I mean, like, I don't know. here's the thing. Will Smith isn't just a recognizable face. His, like, his Will Smith-isms in the way he speaks are also super obvious. So even if they had modeled the genie to look like, oh, I don't know, literally robin williams but blue and cg and they had will smith's voice people would be like hey why is will smith's voice coming out of that yeah you know <sighs> it's it just boggles my mind like the lack of the lack of care yeah the thought. lack of care in the execution and in the casting well look i'm pretty sure this is like the disney live action b team because they clearly have an A team and a yeah, B team. Yeah, yeah. B team. Yeah, they the went B straight from this, Beauty and the, the Beast to this. Yeah, yeah. and Cinderella, the Cinderella one before that. No, Cinderella remember? was great. I never watched it. That was really yeah. good. I didn't watch. Was it the either. Cinderella one? One of the one Cinderella, of the previous one was also pretty Beauty bad. Beauty and the Beast. The Beauty and the Beast. No, one, that one Beauty. I watched oh, because you might I be was. Of Maleficent, maybe? Wow, no, that Malefic- was terrible. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, there's clearly an A team. But yeah, B-team. Cinderella was great. Um, Jungle Book was really good. And, and it's it's funny. Be- it's funny because with the animated versions, famously Lion King was done by the B animation yeah, team, and yeah, Aladdin yeah. was the all, all the yeah. A team. Huh. Now it looks at the live action. It's yeah. literally flipped. Yeah. I mean, I hope I'm prove- proven wrong. I hope I walk into the cinema and it's just like, oh wait, this actually works. Yeah, Super I hope I walk into the cinema and they're like, surprise, it was a joke, it's not Will Smith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good joke. That would be a great goof. But I mean, how are they going... I don't know, man. The, the, oh, no, I, I The I shot know. of the Cave of Wonders looked really nice Yeah, as well. it did. I know what they're going to do, though. Do you remember the Entertainment Weekly, where it's like Will Smith as a human in that? He's just going to be like that in the beginning of the movie as the lamp salesman. Because remember the yeah, 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 was yeah, the yeah. so they're just gonna do that and there's like oh look it's Will Smith oh look it's still Will Smith but now he's the genie there's no mystery I know I just made it worse for you didn't I yeah yeah made it worse. Mm. that's what I do baby yeah well fuck that who would you rather have as the genie the thing is the genie as a character huh Patrick Warburton Patrick Warburton yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Great, com- great comedic timing, big booming voice, funny mm. guy, shenanigans, yeah. slapstick. I would like 30 years ago. Um, no, you gotta choose now. Gotta choose now. Uh, what's his fucking name? Well, actually, I would still have him. Um, Brian Blessed. Brian Blessed. Oh, yeah. That's oh, his yeah, yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, London! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the thing is, you couldn't have Whisper him Genie. Oh, I'm whispering. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, you could never have him as. as anything in a movie with with the kind of freedom that the genie has because then it would all just be like 10 minute stories that he would tell <laughs> just and like whoever who's ever editing it would just be like no i can't i can't <laughs> take anything out of this four and a half hours <laughs> and it's just three and a half hours of brian blessed <laughs> monologues <laughs> i would go watch i would go watch it. that are you watch kidding the crap out of it <laughs> I mean, that man once told a completely factual story about how an orangutan once rode him down the Amazon in a boat. <laughs> what an amazing...
being. He's like a human being. <laughs> yeah, like he was he was gonna be the oldest person to reach the top of I think it was Everest. Mm. And then he based then just before they got to the summit, another climber got injured and he carried him down. What a king. It's like that's the only thing that stopped him. <laughs> the pain of another human. Jesus Christ. That's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I That's think awesome. Brian, Brian Blair... The thing is, the genie is inherently, like, an animated Bombastic. character. Yeah, yeah like, that, that's... it's the kind of thing that just doesn't really work in live action. Yeah, but the thing is... You need some... You need that kind of bombast, but you can't do the crazy jumping around, like... No. You, 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 can't you need do, somebody you can't who can play Luigi's. many different outrageous characters, and Will Smith is just the only outrageous character that he can play. Yeah. So what you're saying is, by that logic, Eddie Murphy would have been a better choice for the genie. Actually, Eddie Murphy yeah, actually, would, have yeah, been would have been a, been a better choice. choice for the, yeah. Yeah. Actually, what the fuck? Eddie Murphy is the. <laughs> then they call him. Yeah. Honestly, his, I think Eddie Murphy would have been a better choice for Deadshot as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> given the <laughs> given the fair. tone of the movie, sure. Yeah. Actually, actually yeah. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all these criminals checking out my ass. <laughs> What the hell? But like peak 80s Eddie Murphy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like raw and delirious Eddie Murphy. Yeah, he would have been Suicide a Squad. great genie. Yeah. Oh my god, no. But yeah, like the character of the genie for me doesn't really try. Like you have to reimagine you, him. The but genie, you have yeah. to reimagine him as larger than life. Yeah. The genie and can't Will be Smith cool isn't. and relatable. Yeah. The, like yeah. that's not he, the genie. The genie in live action for me would have to be like... Um, Eddie Izzard or Fuck yes. or Brian Blessed or Eddie Mer it's like you need that sort of focus larger than life energy and mm. like in craziness yeah because you can't rely You've on be him off the wall. changing and doing different accents and doing the crazy thing the other mm. option would have literally have been to like keep Robin Williams's voice work yeah just yeah. just put his genie in there yeah Make it, like, you know what? I'd actually be fine with that. Or like, do like I'd a be okay do like that. a Roger Rabbit, like two D animated genie. <laughs> sure. Why not? I know. Like that. That would be fine. Yeah. That would work great for Roger Rabbit. I mean, and it would seem more otherworldly than just oh, a blue yeah. Will Smith with some wisps around him. There we go. Yeah, because remember, so well, he is a pretty jacked yeah. Will Smith. Yeah. I mean, do you, we have to remember <laughs> there is <laughs> like, the tiny, tiny face on on this. The, this this carroty what what was yeah, creatine creatine that's Cre it yeah carroty because yeah. he uh, that I mean that's why um, the Josh Brolin Thanos works so well because they, they had changed the proportions rig. of his face to fit the body yeah. and then, otherwise he would have <laughs> had tiny small face syndrome Thanos it would, it would be like that fucking little bit sketch from Rick and Morty. <laughs> Oh, speaking of, one of the showrunners of Rick and Morty is the showrunner for the Loki series. Yeah, I, hey, I did. Which is pretty nice. great. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I had a... Oh, just to come back to Robin Williams. Like, it's a commonly known fact that he recorded a lot more dialogue for mm. that than that was actually yes, used. Yeah, that Disney still owns. That Disney still owns. So they could have actually probably had enough like voice work for him to just have a completely new performance the thing is that might be a lot of pop culture references because they already had quite a few in yeah. there that hadn't aged too well so maybe disney was like okay look these are too niche to the time maybe we'll just take them out and keep them yeah but who, now but, it's gonna well now it's gonna be all sorts of like but the marketing oh, seems i can't i can't get into this land because there's a big wall keeping me out let's talk about immigration policy <laughs> and then like 15 minutes later <laughs> do you have a moment <laughs> to talk about our lord and savior z in, in the valentine special for big mouth the uh, um the one guy, Coach Steve. Coach Steve. Who's no longer a coach, but still called Coach Steve. Coach Steve of Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, yes. Like, he, uh, and he his says girlfriend, he only, Reese's Witherspoons. He, he only feels strongly about, like, one thing, and that's the border wall. Keep them in. More friends for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great Valentine's special. Ooh, nice. In fact, it's my Netflix recommendation for this episode. <laughs> See, really I'm not doing that. I'm do yeah, we're not doing recommendations at the end anymore. So I'm just going to keep dropping them in in the middle. All right. Force oh. people to listen to the, the whole, whole podcast. Thing. Jason's <laughs> just going to edit them out. 
Yeah, people I'm used to just, them into that. People used to skip to the end to, just, yeah. to get yeah, the right recommendation. No, they, they really trusted us. <laughs> yeah. they to Back the when we had goof. consumer trust. It's opening goof, now. closing recommendations. That's that's yeah, you know, that's how it works. <laughs> that's what the hell scene. We've days. had some pretty good opening goofs to be to be fair. Yeah. To be, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Um. Ooh. Onto some good news. Yes. We're probably going to be getting a lot less Margot Robbie, Holly Quinn. Yeah. Why? Please tell me. Um. Because a the uh, Jared Leto, uh, Hol- um, Joker movie, the Joker and Harley Quinn movie thing. Yeah. That's reportedly no longer going ahead. Oh, oh the one that yes, was supposed fun. to be like. Yes, what what did they call a true romance meets something else? Remember I, that? I guess when they were busy writing the script, they read some of the comics and they're like, oh. Oh, this is all. Uh, oh, 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 oh. 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 What is it? Bad Santa meets love, actually, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, was that's it? that's what it was. Isn't that, isn't that what they say? Yeah, so that's yeah. Re- uh, reportedly on shaky ground that is or, great or news not happening i would love for that movie to be in development hell and then as well as that margot robbie is apparently not on the cards for james gunn's suicide squad 2. Fuck yeah, yeah boy i bad wonder bad if that i wonder news. if like the studio would let that happen though because yeah that, that's far, my whole thing as, as far as they're concerned she's like one of the well, biggest draws yeah. well, well maybe they're shifting that to the fantabulous immense version yeah like, like yeah. maybe maybe there was a big um, disconnect between um the birds of prey movie with harley quinn's quote unquote fantabulous <laughs> emancipation um and a love thing with mr j yeah almost like those two things would not go at all together mm. and they kind of looked at the both of them and thought okay we're gonna keep we'll this choose one instead. this lesser of two weeks which actually well, new given, rumors given warner brothers probably means that the joker movie would have been the better one new <laughs> rumors are contradicting the earlier rumors oh, yes. that she is actually gonna be in it oh so. my god you rumors. see yeah that because i'm pretty sure that that would be like even though the studio would give james matt James Gunn a lot of freedom yeah considering what he did for Guardians of the Galaxy and they know what he can do they would have that one that just we have to have Harley Quinn in it yeah I, and, I can't imagine them and I mean historically like Harley Quinn is the most sort of like permanent member of the Suicide Squad for in some the reason that doesn't make any sense no they it doesn't the Suicide Squad everyone else just dies around her yeah yeah her in dead shot they just keep living Ooh, i wonder if they're gonna do king shark and james guns i want james gun to do a no, king, I shark. king shark no. To die. no i don't want king shark to die i just want him to king be shark there. is blessed he must be protected <laughs> i but i'm i'm super super keen to see what james gun does and like of who course. he costs i want to know who james who um uh, who batista is gonna play Batista's is gonna play <laughs> king shark dave batista's king shark whoever he's gonna it's play gonna called be great. it Mm. Called story. it. Yeah, Dave yeah. Bautista says King Shark, and I don't know who he. James Gunn would probably want to put Killer Frost in it to have a female foil for Harley Quinn, but like I, a real one. I do one. like Killer Frost. Killer Frost is yeah. cool. On the thing of of Warner Brothers animated movies, uh, Wonder Woman Bloodlines is moving forward. Yeah, 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 reportedly yeah, 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 with yeah, Rosario yeah. Dawson, yeah, yeah, which I'm yeah, 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 excited yeah. about. As God intended. Could, she was pretty damn amazing in the first one Woman movie that they did. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and I think point. she, yeah, she played, um, who was it in the first one? It wasn't she, Wonder Woman, it was... Uh-uh. No. Didn't she play, f- no, she didn't, no, Cheetah Empire wasn't in the P? first one. No, it? no, she played one, one of the, like, main, yeah. main warriors. Um, and then she also played Wonder Woman in a, in a later animated film. Yeah. Yes. So we don't know who she's going to show She was Calliope in the first one. Calliope, that's it um and yeah so we got that on the on do, on the horizon do we, do we know if they're pushing that one because i remember they re-released an r-rated cut of the original wonder woman movie recently no really really yeah it, nice. it doesn't change much it just it's you know, just more just more. a bit more violence you know it doesn't really add anything to so if you watched it you don't need do to watch like it again violence. well you should but, watch it again because it was pretty outstanding yeah no, but you, yeah you should watch it again because it's outstanding but not specifically go and seek out the r-rated cut yeah what i'm trying to get to either cut is fine yeah just are they going it. to go are they going to aim for an r rating for this one um it's from the bloodline storyline so i imagine it would be a smart move to do that just given the source material it would be but you know the the animated r rate the r rating animated warner brothers 
DC films, God, that's a terrible mouthful, Yeah, mm -hmm. have been pretty hit or miss. Yeah. I mean, Assault on Arkham, freaking great. I liked Assault on Arkham. Assault but on then, Arkham is the best Suicide Squad movie. Yeah, and then, you know, Suicide Squad, How to Pay, terrible. Very bad. Mm, not good. Very bad. Not good. Not good. Um, the first... <laughs> Uh, well, wait, was, was Flashpoint R-rated? Flashpoint was absolutely R-rated. Because that no, had, that had some... Not. Are you kidding me? It was that PG-13. That dude's face getting blown His off. His whole brain came out. Yeah. That wasn't R-rated. No. Fuck you. Let's it check. was not. Let's see what Goggle says. Goggle? Okay, Dion, you asked Goggle. Excuse me, Goggle, I don't mean to bother you, but if you could be so kind, which of the um, DC Universe original animated movies are R-rated? Uh, did you type that whole thing out while I was saying it? Yes. Okay. Wow, that's really impressive. What does the goggle say? Justice uh, League Dark was R rated. Oh, it is PG thirteen. Mm. Yeah, I don't. Some question the PG thirteen yeah. rating because of the graphic nature of Professor Zoom's death. You know, there what, we go. What, we were just and the fact that Wonder Woman gruesome, straight up nooses a guy and breaks his yeah, neck. Yeah, she kills children. She kills children. 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 <laughs> yeah. Children die at Diana's hand. PG thirteen. Yep. Well, that Gotham, by, Star Wars. Gotham by Gaslight was all rated and that was terrible. Gotham by Gaslight yeah. yeah. was died. bad. Yeah. But they were mini Jedi. Yeah. Jedi are the so worst. they don't count. Yeah. Well, that sounds like an absolute to me, Dion. <laughs> you goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> he is wearing black. Yeah. But staying on the whole uh, DC animated thing, mm. we're getting a team up movie between Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes, we are. What? Yep. That's a thing that's happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's so fucking hype. It's happened in the comics a few times. What are you doing? Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Great visual gag. Good visual gag. <laughs> That's a sexy visual gag. That's right. Wow, I am aroused. <laughs> that that should so be. That's so cool. Yeah, it's happened a few times in the comics, but this is the first time we're getting like an animated feature That is with it. the best thing I've heard today. Why did you wait till now to tell me that? <laughs> For this reaction. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> So I can't think good or blood to pee pee. <laughs> That's how it be. No. <laughs> crazy how nature do that. Crazy, <laughs> crazy, how, no, crazy how nature do that. Crazy. Do the meme right. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a, bring us back down here. Mm-hmm. Why? Uh because that's what I do. It's my Can't this just be like a mixed no. up and be all rise? No. No. Unfortunately, it's not because we're talking about WB and DC. Oh, so it can't be. It can't but they've been going Troy from... It's, it's, it's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to have us drop down and, and then go back up. All right, all right. Oh, okay, so it's like a hype sandwich. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Your sandwiches are weird. Um, <laughs> well, the best part of a Troy sandwich Baker, is bread. Troy Baker is playing the Joker and Batman. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Full. And which one is this now? Uh, the, 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 the animated Ninja the, Turtles the team one. That's brilliant. That's amazing oh, because man. you can strong, I'm assuming, is Harley Quinn. Yeah. yeah, I dig the turtle designs. Let's see. Well, I assume this is a still from the comic, but Oh, that's the new turtle design. Yeah, no, this I is from that. this is from the The newest no, that's from the movie, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's from the newest Nickelodeon yeah. interpretation. Oh, and that's yeah. that's pretty much that's the closest solid. thing to that's the that's the, the ba Batman, as in Diedrich Bader's yeah, Batman. Yeah, I was about to say it's a pity. It's it's um, Troy Baker, Troy not Baker, Diedrich not Bader. Diedrich Bader, yeah. But still, that's also one of my. Fa uh, this is my favorite Batman color schemes. So. Yeah, mm, mm, that light yeah. blue. Have you, have, have ever, you watched have, the Batman yeah. with with uh, Batman mm. the Brave and the Bold? That's what it's yeah, called. Yeah, the, the, the Batman was the late 2000s yes, one. Yes, the one with the weird ass Joker. Yeah, the dreadlock Joker. Dreadlock yeah, Joker. I wasn't a fan. Uh, dreadlock Joker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I like dreadlock. Just search the Batman Joker and look at that, and then yeah, that's probably not going to help me. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Give him a date. Well, the Batman animated series, the uh, Batman cartoon. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. How to Dreadlock it. Joker. Yeah, Dread just Dreadlock, Dreadlock Joker. Dreadlock Joker. Dreadlock Joker. <laughs> Dreadlock Joker will give you the one you you don't want to see. But yeah, because like Batman the Brave and the Bold. Dreadlock Joker, the Bob Marley story. <laughs> You're shitting me. I am. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this the hardest thing in the world to find? Oh wow! What is this? Is this what you're talking about? Yes, yes. that's exactly what we're talking about. And that's like a weird stall, like... <laughs> <laughs> Not a great visual, yeah! You might have heard that on the microphone, but Dion just dropped his phone out of sheer revulsion. He threw his phone, he, he didn't did. just no, drop yeah, it. Yeah. He, 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 he cast it aside! 
Oh, what, I was gonna, what I was going to say is before Dion was so disgusted is it's kind of sad that it's not just straight up Brave and the Bold Batman because I really enjoyed some of those episodes and Diedrich Baylor brought... Oh, he brought I, some. I wi- really enjoyed the cheesy like yeah, he 80s some, Batman. Yeah, he brought some like almost some Adam West whimsy to the character mm. again, which is nice. Like Batman before Tim Burton got his hands on him. Yes, uh, dynamite pants. Mm. Yeah, before Tim Burton popularized murder Batman. Yeah, Batman, Murderman. Yeah, Bat Murderman. Bat. Um, my name's my name's Bat. Bat Murderman. <laughs> Attorney Bat at Law. Nice to <laughs> Bat Murderman. Attorney at Law. Dentist. Professional execution. So, uh, I'm gonna bring us back down to Earth. Again. Yeah, because Zack Snyder's t- still trying to hype that, that uh, Snyder cut of the Justice League. Are you Wait, serious? Does he actually try to hype that? Well, I mean, he's now mentioning um, that they're selling uh, t shirts. For some kind of campaign, but to sell T-shirts for this campaign, he used turning back the clock, and for no apparent reason that I could see at all, he attached a, a, a cut image of the Flash from his cut of the Justice League, and it's just the Flash standing there in a thing that didn't happen in the movie, and people are like, "Whoa, it exists! He's confirmed it. This Un- like under the radar, he's told us that it exists." How many? Are we three years into this? Justice League yeah. came out in twenty late twenty seventeen. We're three years. It was in November. Yeah. Okay, November seventeen. So, so we're two and a, two and a bit years one into half, one, and half. one and a bit years. Maths into is hot. Stop, stop being bad at maths. That's my thing. Yeah. <laughs> Get your own fucking jokes, Tyler. I we're, don't have any. No, we're deeper. No, because no. Remember, no. The Snyder cut goes back before the release of the movie. Still. Because remember, people were crying for the Snyder Cut ever since he, like, publicly had to leave the production. Yeah. We are far longer into this than ever should have been. Yes. That is what I'm trying to illustrate. Let's see what so it's been like 18 years. Snyder Cut. Don't. Nothing. No. no. Your phone will explode Dion, like a Note Dion. 7. You already threw your phone away once. <laughs> <laughs> like, how is that? How is this still a thing? I we can't. get another great Ben Affleck Batman performance in the Snyder Cut, and I need to see it. Hashtag, I'm just saying. Are you the... Wait, the Joker is when in was the, the Snyder when, when Cut, was the good thread. Ooh. When was I the good know. Batman uh, Affleck know. performance? I'm not sure. Was it that couple of seconds in Suicide Squad? Yes. Huh? What? Was he there? Yeah. Yes. I, ju- I just thought... He dove I- into the water, punched through glass into Harley Quinn's face. And Zack Snyder is awesome. one of the best things to happen to the culture of superhero movies, but the Snyder Cut is the exact opposite of the cinematic universe WB has morphed the OG T- DCEU into. Oh, Ironically, God. getting the cut would be even more depressing because oh. that vision is dead now. Oh, I'm... Good thing I'm a fucking sword trick, I'm, I'm thing. gonna kill him. Oh, it's that picture I'm you were talking about. It's no, that picture sure, you were I'm talking gonna, about. I'm just gonna kill Is myself. Is Zack the best or what? Oh, by the way, please, for the love of God, release the Snyder Cut. Right, this is happening. Marcus is falling on his sword. <laughs> oh, but then the sword fall on him. Yeah, I'm having the sword fall on me. That's hot. Goodbye, cruel world. I'm into this. Okay. Can Good we news from the DC. Yes, you, yes, 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 please, yes. Shazam please. has already opened in China and made like six billion dollars. That's well, seem but it's, it is Shazam news. Oh, actually, you know what's better than Shazam news is remember when Jason Momoa said the Snyder Cut was the best movie he had ever seen in his entire life? I hate Jason just, Momoa so much. <laughs> just saying. I forgot that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking book. Book book How can it be the best movie he's ever seen if 80% of the movie is CG and the CG hadn't been done yet? Hey man, it's the best the collection of, Scott, of <laughs> scenes against the green screen he'd ever seen. <laughs> He's the mentality of a small child. Okay. He's, he's like, oh my god, I love these, I love these fields. <laughs> these Elysian <laughs> fields. <laughs> Sorry, well, yeah. Okay, tell me about Shazam. He probably preferred the like the pre-release version of the uh, X Men Origins Wolverine. Oh god, remember? I remember. Yeah, with remember the CG that with cut the, with the fucking gun. Yeah. Re- okay. Yes. Good news, Shazam. Go. Um, the movie is going to 
uh, bring some hollow horror elements into it thanks to the addition of the seven deadly sins fuck yes which if you know any of shazam shit is fucking incredible yeah hopefully we actually get that as opposed to what we got for hellboy actually we're supposed to be getting this week a a second hellboy trailer oh, yeah. that um hellboy creator What's mike name mignola name? mike mignola says is a shit ton better than the first trailer fuck yeah well it fucking I, better be i trust because i believe david harbour can be a great hellboy but i still haven't seen it no i absolutely believe it but like that trailer dissuaded me yeah well, well he that, can be a good hellboy the same way was... that cavill can be a good superman yes yeah. there was the right, there the right was film. There yeah, was that a, trailer took the wind out of my soul. Oh, absolutely! Yeah. And I'm a huge Hellboy fan. I'm a stack of the comics. Mm. Like, they, not that they, big. A, did you guys see the recut version of the um, Avengers Endgame trailer? No, no. It's literally the same, but it opens with um, Thanos, like narrating. Oh, nice. Mm, that's nice. good. Yeah. Where it's like it's like almost line for line the same, yeah. but him saying it, so it feels super ominous. Oh my god, I need to see that. It's great. Yeah, yeah it's. I think they just call it the Thanos one spot. Nice, good stuff. Nice. Oh, uh, it looks like um, Universal is playing to Blumhouse's strengths and giving them a low budget for the Invisible Man. Good. Fantastic. Nice. Good. Less. You like, know how low budget like, they should like, make it? They should just not cast an invisible man. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, who Zing. the fuck's gonna know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're never gonna know. Just throw, like, just like, just have a voice throw actor. Throw a coat across the room. Like, and get Troy Baker in for the weekend. Do yeah, some lines. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, like, basically just take whatever Tom Cruise's salary was for the mummy, halve it, and then make that the whole movie's budget. Nice. Yes. I'd be keen for that. Uh, the quote from the director, um, Wannell, the guy who did the, a lot of the Insidious stuff and Upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, um... God, I loved Upgrade. It was like, it, um, it's a lower budget movie. It's not dependent on special effects, CGI or stunts. And it's super character driven and really compelling. Yeah. Cool. That's what, keen. The thing is, that's I'm less, that's what that's I less want investment. From... That means that it's way easier to make a good return on it, which means it's way easier to actually build a, a cool, franchise. Yeah. On. yeah, yeah. As opposed to starting big, fucking up, and going, oh shit. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm pretty now, sure. Now, ostensibly, how they, if if the the, the shared universe oh, goes no, ahead, but... sorry. Um, yeah. How are they ever going to get Tom Cruise in without blowing oh, no, the just entire gonna, budget? They're going to rent on him out. How big the budget is? I, I, I found the actual number now. Six. And I'm not fucking Twelve. this up. I swear I'm not fucking this yeah, up. Fucking it because up. it used letters to tell me and not numbers. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ten million. That oh. is no more than ten that million is, dollars. That is That's piddly good. money. That is piddly. That is, that is for, a, for, a, for a cinema release film, that yeah. is piddly money. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's e like, these that's, days, that's low by Blumhouse standards. And that's mm. easily going to make its money back multiplied by ten. And that so, means... For so like a trillion dollars. Yeah, that's the thing. He's like, they the Blumhouse stuff easily pulls in one to 150, like. Yeah. Yeah. Super Just on easy. the name of Blumhouse. Yeah. So that's a really good idea. Yeah. It's, it's basically guaranteed profit. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I dig it. Mm -hmm. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what they should do for the, for the movie posters in all the theaters? Like just have a literally a piece of cellophane as the movie poster for the invisible man. That would be pretty good. That would be good. Mm -hmm. But environmentally, but to say something oh, irresponsible. Yeah, it would. Yeah, so I'm not okay with use that. Paper okay. Scrolls. Um, what? Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, the the latest news on the Ghostbusters three <laughs> doesn't Jesus have me ex ex excited. What? what? Well, I did not see this. Please. No. Uh, they're Should... looking to cast a twelve year old and thirteen year old boy and girl. Oh no! 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 no, 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 no. And the boy is going to play somebody bright and witty. Oh. No! <laughs> Do you think that? The kids are... I don't know. Hey, maybe. guys, young Sheldon's getting great ratings. Let's ride this wave. What right into the side lying? of a building. Let's pro what property do we have lying around? Fucking Ghostbusters. Yeah, let's, let's no. do it. Now let's snort cocaine off some hookers. <laughs> yeah. Board meeting done. Board meeting done. If they... <laughs> wow, that just sounds like a bottle of trash. 
I sometimes think, yeah, sorry. What if they just made Ghostbusters 3, right? And I don't know, I I'm just going to go on a wild ass movie pitch here, right? So it is children focused, very much like it or Stranger Things, right? At least four kids. Mm -hmm. um, and also like young, decent actors and not Finn Wolfhard again, because God damn it, that kid gets enough work. I mean, seriously, he's voicing someone in uh, something else on Netflix as well. Anyway, so, and they just find the Ghostbusters gear, right? And they think it's fake because it's it so looks like is, props so from Jumanji the movies. Jumanji Busters. Jumanji Busters, exactly. Nice crossover. Mm. I could, yeah. They find but the yeah. gear, they figure out it's real, and then ghosts start appearing because they accidentally open a trap and it lets some ghosts out. And it's the ghosts from 13 Ghosts, and they just fucking fold the children in half. Yes! That traumatized me yes, as a child. Yes, 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 yes. No, that dude, traumatized the shit out of me dude, when the guy got bent in half and pulled into the car. That was fucking uh -uh. bonkers. And the other one with the guy gets crushed, and the fucking thing with the cage on his head. I remember yeah, that the, scaring the shit out of me as a kid. Um, the thing is with Ghostbusters is. What made Ghostbusters good was, like, you had some of the best comedians in the world, like, writing and riffing off each other. So if you're gonna make Ghostbusters 3, who are, like... But my nephew's hilarious, Yeah, dear. it's like, get... Who, who, are, who are the current, like... Kings of comedy. Yeah, who are, who are they? There's John are C. Riley. Are we gonna Riley. get Kevin Hart? There's John C. Riley. <laughs> Don't make me pick up my who sword else? again. Who else is like, who, who, I, I don't want to say Will Ferrell because he's on a, on a he's dirty on a, street. Yeah. No, yeah, Will Ferrell hasn't been funny I mean, yeah, you've years. got John C. Riley. you've got... Eve... Wait. I got nothing. And no, this isn't a bit, I'm actually actively trying to think. Steve Martin? I know he's older, but he's, he's still pretty... Steve Carell? Steve no, Carell. Steve Carell's moved more into dramatic. Yeah, he, ha he no, actually he's in a he comedy has. series now. Yeah. But I, I yeah. think he could still Against pull it off. The, about Trump's space force. Yes, uh, I saw that. Guys, yes. guys, guys. We're fucking it up. It should just be The Lonely Island. No. Mm. Yeah, all right. Right, right. Or at least Andy oh, Sandberg oh, should be in there. Who's the guy that Brooklyn Nine Nine? Who's the guy that plays their manager? Andre Brower needs to be in Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um, but uh, who's the guy that plays their manager in in um, uh, pop in star? Popstars? Ed Helms. No, no, not Ed Helms. Um, I know who you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the guy from like. Yeah. Um, I'll fuck you up, young blood. <laughs> yeah, that guy. He should be in there and. You're Steve so cool with names, be great. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, like it's just, just get your best. Like the full problem comedy is actors. that that includes Kevin Hart at the moment in terms of public perception. I said best. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying in terms of public we're talking perception. Money. Public no, perception. Money. No, 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 best. Money. And then I would have to just boycott it. Yeah. No, no, no but I mean, the, like Ghostbusters, the those guys. Tim were Meadows. Nice. Is who you're talking about? They. Oh. Yeah. They were, I only saw Popstar once. They weren't all like blockbuster actors they were famous comedians they were they SNL weren't... alums but yeah. it was basically yeah. an extended SNL sketch pretty much <laughs> so would it then just have Bobby Moynihan in it yes yeah. actually Absolutely. actually yes 100% yeah. <laughs> isn't Keenan Williams still with SNL he's just gone back to SNL yeah okay so there we've got the we've got okay oh and um Bobby uh, Moynihan Kate McKinnon no, not what? Not Kate McKinnon. Kate McKinnon was already in a Ghostbusters. Oh yeah. But, but with yeah. other SNL alum, and it didn't really work out too well. Yeah, but that's not their fault. That's yeah, not they used yeah, their that was that was like, Paul it was a complete, complete fucking waste of talent. Even more so after finding out how funny Chris Hemsworth actually is. Yes. Thing is, he was actually the his bits in there were great until the third act, where they yeah. were just like, "Hey, this this is sort of working. Let's just lean into it." real hard maybe Man. too hard like i still haven't i know it's on netflix but i still haven't like put the time aside to watch the you 360 should, like, ghostbusters you should, there's, there's like little this, good moments in there but yeah, it's there's, just wasted there's potential. a couple of amazing chris hemsworth jokes yeah. that make it worthwhile um and it's also a super interesting study like you guys say venom is where you can see so clearly the studio where stuff has where stuff has just been cut yeah. where it's like there there'll be like a plot point that goes nowhere and then there'll be like one character is just in another part of the city but they there's no mention of like why they're there 
when they went mm. there. It's just, just there. It's just stuff that's on the cutting room floor and yeah. no one gave yeah, it. Because the thing is, like, I, I it's, it's so on sad. my what year to watch list. But the thing is, I always find something I'd rather be yeah, watching. For sure. Like the Ted Bundy dates, which is pretty yeah. great. Mm. Hot pretty damn, that, that that's some scary shit. Yeah, that freaking that sexy rock star guy, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the, sexiest, yeah. the sexiest, quirkiest rock star. Yeah, sexiest, yeah. quirkiest. Oh, I can't wait for that courtroom drama. I'm yeah. oh, sorry, courtroom comedy. Courtroom comedy. I couldn't even bring myself to quote. I'm so, I'm so surprised they didn't get Ezra Miller. He's just so quirky. Okay. <laughs> My recommendation think, yeah. for this week is for Thomas to go fuck himself. We My recommendation is... for this week is if you can find Thomas, slap him. Slap <laughs> him silly. Please just kill me. Uh, is that where we're going to end it, though? Yeah. yeah. Quick, Thomas cool. ruined it. Quick word from our sponsors. Uh, drink San Pellegrino. Drink San Pellegrino and buy side show collectibles. And Krabby's is just like outside the window <laughs> looking in like... <laughs> Look, and they, they, had, they, they had, had their shots. 67 fucking episodes. And don't to forget to use us. our promo code BCINNABEARDS20 to get 20% off your first order of. It's, um, you can stop there because that's the gag. <laughs>